Bernd, fantastic presentation today. Thank you. You told us a lot about Profinet. Can you tell us a little bit where it comes from? Okay, the development for Profinet basically comes from the requirement that we have uh, on the market. So like the field bus and also industrial architectures were changing over the years. Uh, since Profibus is on the market since 1989 and um, in the past years the indi industrial network architectures were changing a lot towards industrial Ethernet technology. So it was a requirement for the market and Profinet is the perfect answer on it. Okay, in your presentation you refer to specification 2.3. What about backwards compatibility? In the uh, specification 2.3, of course, we always consider the backward compatibility. That means if you have a device which runs on 2.3, you can always address it with a controller which has a standard Profinet specification from the very first moment. In order to achieve the complete power, I think you are referring to the performance, then we uh, need, of course, the 2.3 devices. But where would you really need 31.25 microseconds? 31.25 microseconds, or let's say isochronous real-time communication, you need most of the time in uh, motion control applications, there where you have like a lot of high deterministic applications, like um, paper machines, uh, paper cutting, stuff like that. Okay, we had a long discussion about security in the, in the talk. Um, mm -hmm. Can you probably give us the key points of that one? Okay, security in general, I think is um, not a question that you should ask um, to a Profinet system. It is a question that um, everybody should ask who has industrial Ethernet already in their applications. Because besides Profinet systems, you still have uh, communication or already have existing communication to SCADA systems, to panel, also towards uh, IT departments in, in these applications. And this is already where security comes in. Profinet is uh, additional system which is industrial Ethernet based. So if you want to talk about security, you should see the complete picture. That means different layers of protection. It starts with a standard physical uh, uh, protection of an application down to several measures, security gates, um, uh, antivirus server, and then it goes down to the, to the firewalls, to VPN, to automation cell protection. There are different levels of these um, security aspects and also different levels that you need to put in consideration if you want to have the complete picture of a secure mm -hmm. application. You also refer to investment protection um, when using Profinet. Can you elaborate on that one? Yes, investment protection was one of the very first requirements and also one of the big considerations that we uh, did when we um, defined the standard because um, we cannot just say here is Profinet, just remove all your existing systems and uh, use Profinet now. The major requirement was to have a seamless integration into a modern industrial Ethernet architecture. This can be achieved with proxy technology. It can um, also achieve with uh, this, the way how Profinet is uh, designed from the engineering point. Because mm -hmm. when you see Profibus and Profinet, Engineering-wise, um, there's not much difference, especially when we look in the user programs. Yeah. As you know, there's a huge in install base of Profibus around the world. Yes. How easy or how difficult is it to, to make the tr transition from Profibus to Profinet? How easy it is to make the transition from Profibus to Profinet? Um, actually, when you look at the pure I.O. station, the I.O. station, you just have, if you have a modular I.O. with a lot of slots, you can just remove the interface module for Profibus, put a Profinet interface module in. That is the investment protection. You can keep all the existing I.O.s. In this way, the transition is actually quite straightforward. Also, engineering-wise, the learning curve of the engineering or maintenance team also um, can be seen as transparent because, um, as I said, addressing and uh, configuration of the user programs is uh, more or less the same. There are some differences in the addressing of the I.O. station itself, but from the user point, user program point stays the same. So the transition is actually quite easy. Bernd, we have heard so much about different Ethernet systems, different industrial communication uh, philosophies. What differentiates Profinet to all the other systems on the market? Okay, I think the, the major part is that Profinet is used in um, 
and specified now since we have standard 2.3 in all the different industry. We can use it now for process automation, for factory automation and for drive applications. So you see in uh, if you look into other systems they are more going into niches. Profinet can cover the whole range starting from safety, safety wireless, all these different things on the complete whole nine yards. What do you think how important training is for, for, for understanding the complexity of, of uh, these systems? Uh, I think training is um, always good to have. Um, it is, we especially from Profibus Profinet International, we are providing certified engineer course. That is a quite intensive three-day training. Uh, at the end you will do a theoretical and practical exam. So basically when you are a certified engineer, you um, prove also that you understand by doing this exam and becoming um, the certified person, more or less.